Ten toes, that's my MO. Tell me, y'all set it in. 25,000 to go. Hey, y'all, we out here at an auction. Local auction today. Smaller auction, too. I just wanted to come out here and see what some of these prices was going to be like. This big uh, 650 right here went for 30K. I thought that was a fairly good deal, man. These big 650s usually cost quite a bit. Uh, it had the 650 had 206,000 miles on it. Like I said, 30K for that one. This is the one I had my eyes on. 4x4 automatic 2000 F550. It ended up going for, it only had 101,000 miles on it. And this thing ended up going for 12.5. That's pretty good. 100,000 miles on it, y'all. Clean as a whistle, too. I mean, clean as a whistle. Four by four wrecker. I think that I think that's a pretty good buy. I needed to see what this one went for. I, I I didn't I didn't hear whatever it went for, but this one over here went for 65. That was the first one they auctioned off. 107,000 miles on this Freightliner went for 65. That's pretty good there. Oh. My buddy wanted to. He wanted to see how much this would go for because he said that was a hell of a truck right there. That is a 95 International. Almost 500,000 miles. Big boy wrecker. I like that body style too. But, yeah. I thought this one would have went a little cheaper. But, I mean, it's worth it, man, for what you're getting. 100,000 miles, automatic, 4x4. Just clean condition overall. So, I can see why it went that high. But man, I was hoping it would be a little bit cheaper. But, it is what it is. Good to come out here and see what things are going for. Look at this old Chevy right here. The guy that bought this one and the 650 over there, I uh, I delivered a trash truck body to him. He was the one that had the land all, if you remember that. They're going to load it on the land all, y'all. Got some bonus footage right here. Decided to spin it around since the tailgate has more weight on it. They say them Landau tires they blow out quick with super super weight on right on top of the tires. He ended up buying that, them two. I think he bought some other stuff too. So, y'all know we just are still are in our startup phase, man. We're going on year three. Everything's going well, but we ain't got deep pockets just to be dropping them on stuff that we ain't going to use right away. So, you got to be smart with what you buy. So, hopefully soon, not soon, but hopefully one day, what I'm trying to say is we'll be in a position where we can drop big money on some of this stuff. I just talked to the man that bought this truck and he's actually got cattle so he's gonna rip the bed off of it and put a flatbed on it and feed cattle with it he said he got another one just like it and if he can get another hundred thousand miles out of it uh it'll be well worth the money he spent on it so that's crazy he won't even use it as intended and uh but i mean i guess when you find a good truck like this low miles on a seven three hundred thousand miles man it makes sense there was a 12 percent uh, buyer's fee at this auction too which I feel like it's kind of high for a smaller auction but you know it is what it is anyway that's it I ain't really interested in nothing else out here uh, Quan and Brielle is at the car over there ready to go so I'm gonna holler at y'all later on appreciate y'all watching like share subscribe peace
What it do, what it do, y'all. We back in this thing, man. Still out here working with the rollback every day or every few days. Like to tinker with it a little bit and move it, you know, progress it forward towards putting it into full-time use. Uh, but anyway, I got a video, man, that I shot when I first brought this thing back home. I actually forgot I had this footage. I shot this video. I was able to find one of the old owners because on the hood, the... Um, old usd usdot numbers are still there and it's just black to match the hood you can't see it unless you're looking close so i said damn let me look that up and get a fella a call and that's what you're about to watch is the phone call between me and him where he gave me a bunch of valuable information for this truck uh and just keep in mind this call was when i first brought the truck home from the shop so a bunch of things you hear me mention in the video i've already fixed and repaired and uh you know such and such so just enjoy that man appreciate y'all watching like share subscribe and enjoy service. hey how's it going all right hey i got i got a question for you man i bought a i bought a 99 f550 rollback and uh i had it for about a month and a half and it's i just noticed it had your dot number and your mc number on the hood I guess you sold it, uh, a little, I don't know how long ago, a few years ago maybe, but I just bought it. I wanted to see if you could tell me about, a little bit about it. Okay. Do, uh, do you remember a, a black 99 L550 rollback? It got flames on it? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, bought that. I had that a long time ago. Yeah, it's I bought good. it from uh, I bought it from a, well, the, the guy uh, that had it, he died back in like 2021. And his wife really? been yeah his wife been uh she had it just parked in the yard literally ever since she didn't know how to drive a manual and the son didn't know how to drive it either so it's been sitting for a couple years and i bought oh, it wow. in i bought it in june and uh i sent it to uh diesel shop and got just the basics done we put a new alternator new water pump a uh, new coolant reservoir fixed the oil leak just just you know general maintenance and uh i just got it back uh, and then I I, oh, had, I walked out here to look at it, and I said, "Damn, there's some DOT numbers on the hood. I didn't, I had never noticed it." Wow. Yeah. How long did you have it? Uh, I was the third owner. I know the the person who bought it knew. He had a, a salvage yard. Then he kept it for maybe what's that? What year did he? I think it's a, that's a 99, so... Right. I think, I think he kept it until maybe, I want to say, 05, 06. Uh-huh. Then, then my buddy bought it. Uh, my buddy kept it for... So I got it maybe in 2010. Uh-huh. Yeah, my buddy put the, the flames on it. He had them. Uh, yeah, they look like they're painted, painted on. on there. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, painted. No stickers. Yeah, he, he paid thirty nine hundred back uh, back then to get that done. Yeah, and then you uh, bought and you bought it. When when did you sell it? You must have sold it to the guy I got it from. Yeah, uh, he lives in Georgia, right? Right, right. I'm in Georgia too. Yeah, I, I'm in the same town. I, I literally was like fifteen minutes away. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how'd he die? Uh, I've heard it was like COVID related because it was right in that COVID COVID period. I don't know wow. if he had a, you know, heart uh, health condition or what. You know, he was pretty young. He, yeah, he, he, yeah was, he was. Yeah, he was pretty young, and uh, I had been looking for a while for a rollback, and uh, we just popped up one day, and she had it listed for nine thousand, right? Nine thousand wow. dollars, and no, no, she had it listed for ten. I'm sorry, she had it listed for ten. And she showed me, she got like 300 messages on it, literally. So the first guy came and offered her like eight and she didn't really like the way, she felt like he was trying to get over on her. So I contacted her and she didn't answer, which is understandable, but I knew some of the same people she knew from her Facebook page because we both live in the same city. So I reached out right. to them. I said, hey man, let her know I'm, I'm, I'm looking to take a look at that rollback and can I come look at it? And they hit me back like an hour later she was like, yeah, come on through and look at it. And, you know, we talked about it. She talked to my wife, and I was able to get it for 9000 So it's a smoking oh, wow. deal for a rollback with aluminum bed, you know. 
You got that right, because that's a strong bed, too. Right, right. So it's got 350... Yeah, 350,000 uh, miles on the, almost on the dot. Like, literally, like, 350,000 and, like, 100 or something like that. That's not the original motor. It ain't? Uh-uh. As a, a ambulance motor, and it a 7.3 out of an ambulance. Oh, um, wow. I think the, the ambulance only had maybe 80,000 miles on it, so we probably put 20... To thirty thousand on it. Wow. Yeah. Did you, did the original go out, or you just stumbled on a deal and you couldn't refuse? Uh, the original did go out. Okay. The original did go out. Um. I figured this uh, thing had to be from up north because it does have a, a, a little bit of rust. The, the storage boxes, the frame ain't bad at all. Uh, the door got a little bit of rust, so I knew it. We we'll probably came from up north because my whole family, my mama's fam family lives in Connecticut, so I know all about that. Uh, okay. Yeah. So. Does it still have the, the buyer's small toolboxes on it? Yeah, yeah. They're rusted out, though. The bottom's falling out of those. I'm going to replace them. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know the guy put cat skin car or cat skin seat covers on it. Yeah, they're wore out. Uh, they're, the driver's seats yeah. wore, wore out. Yeah, probably. Yeah. What, what did you sell it for? Did you upgrade at the time or are you just... Just got rid of it, or what? Did, did it did it work good for you all those years? Well, uh, I have a towing company up here in, in PA. Um, at the time, we had nine tow trucks. Oh wow! And, yeah, we actually just bought one, another one today. Ninety grand. Woo! <laughs> yeah, this is my first one. I've been. I, I really do car transport, but um, I okay. got this local connection that sends a lot of cars to the auction and uh, I got tired of doubling back because I had been using one car trailers. So uh, I said, man, I need to get a roll back and this thing just kind of fell in my lap. So this is my first one, hopefully first of, of many because I'm staying very busy as a one man, one man show, but it's, yeah, I'm just, 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 you know, this is my first one. Okay. All right. Well, it's money to be made. All right. So you going to do transport or are you going? Yeah. Well, I'm going to do, I, I, I still do the auto transport. I'm in a hot spot, man. I'm out here in Athens, Georgia, uh, close to Atlanta, close to South Carolina. It's just a okay. lot going on out here. So I take advantage of that. Then I got a, like I said, I got a contract with these people that buy and send cars to the auction. So that's really what the okay. rollback is for. Cause they're there. I got like a 50 mile radius. So it's a lot of times okay. where I pass a car, I have to come right back and get it. So now that's going to be over okay. with. You know what I'm saying? I can use use this and right. get two at a time. Cut down on time, and you know, time is money. Right. You know how that go? Time is definitely money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I came out here to to check uh the PTO when I bought it. The sun showed me how to get the high idle to come up or whatever. You know, so the bed right. will work fast and all that. And it, it worked yeah. perfectly the day I bought it. The day I bought it is the same day I took it to the shop. And I just got it back okay. two days ago, and I can't get the high idle to come on. So I, I, but I haven't looked at it either. We, you know what? We had the same problem with that thing. Um, I know there's a knob in the floor for the PTO, but I don't, I, I don't know if that works or not. I really just, I haven't done nothing but bought it and sent it straight to the shop to get the engine stuff done. I haven't really done anything I with get, it. I would get rid of that manual PTO and get an electric PTO. We okay. had a problem with the cable stretching all the time. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, so that was one of the problems that we had with it. We fixed it, but it was something that was repeated. So is that how it's supposed to work? You Are you supposed to pull the lever in the floor and then hit the forward button, or are they not related? Well, the PTO has to be engaged to enga engage the RPMs up. I think you got to hit that Ford symbol first to turn it on, and I can't remember. If you YouTube it, they probably have uh, directions on there. Yeah. On how to do it, but the PTO definitely has to be engaged, and okay. you got to remember to shut the PTO off right. before you start Drive. uh, Drive shifting it. those gears. Yeah. Because you you'll strip the gears. Okay. Um, I think that thing needed injectors. Yeah, it's got a little tick to it right now, but I mean, hell, it ran. I drove it forty minutes from the shop home, and uh, well, yeah, ain't no telling power. what the previous owner did before I got it. You know what I'm saying? So it probably might be good already, but it had a little tick. But it's been yeah. sitting for two years, so I put a little hot shot yeah. diesel in it, put some fresh fresh diesel in it, 
And uh, like I said, I got to try it out. I, it only made a, a, a 40 minute, probably a 20 mile trip. That was two days ago and I just parked it because I've been busy. So I'm gonna get around to checking it out and look, dive further into it, get it get it washed up in detail. It's been sitting under a tree. So, uh, I mean, that's right. a hell of a deal. I'm still only in it for, uh, at this very moment, 14,800, which still ain't bad. Not, not considering what today's tow trucks are called. Right, 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 exactly, exactly right. What'd you, what'd you end up selling it for? How much did you get when you sold it? Well, this was pre-COVID. When before we sold it to him, oh, she, I, I sold that truck to him. What year is it? Twenty three. It had to have been twenty eighteen. Yeah. Twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, and that's when uh, you know there was an abundance of trucks. Right. Right. So so I think I think I only sold it to him for nine grand at the time. Right. Right. Yeah. That's it. And right. and the prices right now are ridiculous. That's why nine yeah. grand was a steal when I came along. You know. That truck is probably worth twenty grand. Right. Right. Yep. Uh, easy. Yep. Right yep. now. Yep. So. Yeah. The only thing is, not too many people want stick shifts anymore. Right. Um, just because if you're uh, a towing company with drivers, everybody don't drive stick the same. Right. And we had a problem with drivers uh, running through clutches. Yep. On uh, our, our stick shift trucks. Yep. Yep. And you got guys that are used to driving tractor trailers that think they can power shift it without pushing the clutch in. Yep. And uh, and then the emergency brake never worked on that damn truck. Man, I hear I read on the uh, seven three diesel pages they are a pain in the ass to fix and they never really work from the factory real good. They never work. Yep. All it takes is somebody to take off once with it engaged. And that's it. Yep. I read that. It's never going to work again. I read that. Yep. I read that uh, last night I was looking into it because it's got this little micro brake thing, which I, we put a new one of those on, too. Uh, we installed that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we put a new one on because it wasn't working. It, right on the passenger, or not on the Driver passenger, side. on your left-hand side. Yeah. Right, right by the door. Yep, yep. We put a new one on because the old one wasn't working, and they're actually right. back-ordered everywhere, but I found one website they had a few of them, and I ordered it, and it's man, it works flawless. And it was probably like four hundred bucks, huh? Yeah, four, four. Well, normally Zips got them for three forty, but nobody has okay. them in stock. None of the none of the actual distributors have them in stock. They're back ordered. I, I had to find it on another website, and they charge four eighty instead wow. of three forty. But I, I mean, I had to have it, so I bought it anyway. You had to have it, right? You had to have it. Yep, yep. You had to have it. But yeah, yeah, man, it don't looks let good. That thing break free. I'm a, yeah, don't oh let yeah. That thing break free. Right, <laughs> right. That's a that's a big big son of a gun. But I'm gonna send you some pictures. Uh, if this is your cell phone, I'm gonna send you some pictures of the engine because we went through. We put an SMB intake on it, a new coolant oh, box, nice. and a uh, new alternator, new water pump. So it's. I mean, I got the main stuff out, main stuff with the engine done. Now I gotta go through and. Uh, I know my wife was following me home. She said it. I didn't have no turn signals, no brake lights, so it's probably some fuses somewhere. I got a just little stuff, man, you know. And the the, br the driver side back brake was smoking a little bit uh, when we pulled over to get some diesel, and it also smoked okay. when I got home. So I don't know if it's grabbing or if, if the pads are wore out. I just ain't got that deep into it. But little stuff, man, yeah. you know. I, I did went through the engine. Now I just got to do the little stuff, and it should be ready to rock. Yeah, it should be ready to make you some money. Right. <laughs>